Hello everyone. So I'm super excited to share an AI tool that I tested recently. You know how I love startups and how I love WordPress. And also lately I've been very fascinated by AI because of everything that's happening and how what the future holds basically. So when I was contacted by a guy on Instagram saying that they have the WordPress for chatbots, AI chatbots, I was like, and they're a startup, I was like, no way, like, I have to see that. And they were like, we want to work together, are you willing to record a video for us? I'm like, I have to test it first, um, this is new to me, I don't know if I can put my name behind it. And from what you can guess, I can put my name behind it because I'm super excited after I tested it out. I actually put a little bit more effort into it because I wanted to make a few steps chatbot, but I built a chatbot for WebDash and it's like super easy, like literally the WordPress of chatbots if you consider WordPress as a place where you don't need any technical knowledge and you don't need much experience in order to create something amazing that actually works. So I was super excited and I was like, okay, when I'm recording this video, I will be creating one for my blog because why not? I actually need one for my blog. So I wanted to share it with you and to show you the tutorial that I did and to show you actually also the tool, the company and what they're doing. So, um, I just need to mention when I tested it out, I decided that we're going to be partnering together. So thank you for sponsorship, this uh, for sponsoring this video and for supporting my channel. And I'm super excited to share it with you because I truly see the value in it. So let's get going. Here you can see their website. Their company is called ChatGPTBuilder.io, and I opened I opened up the pricing just, just to check what kind of different um, tools they actually have. At the moment, they have a seven day free trial that you can test so many things, and you can see how many integrations and they actually have templates for the chatbots which is amazing uh, but in the beginning i decided just to do something very simple you can actually see it here on webdash so when you go to the website you click here and um you see that i've already tested it out a couple of times so let's refresh and now you see, I called my, my chatbot Alice. It remembers my data because of cookies. So anyhow, but I called her Alice, my AI assistant, just because I love the name because of Alice in Wonderland, you know, you're exploring and creating something new. So in this case, I have the options to choose for my clients to choose whether they are already one of my clients because many of them contact us on many occasions or I'm a new client so basically if I choose a new client then it goes do you need a website or do you need support so I choose that I need a new website and it sends me to the request form so that a client a potential new client can request a new website so right now I want to create a chatbot for my personal blog which is just another wanderer and we log in if I remember my password, that would be amazing. Okay, it logs me in right away. So one of the things that I saw that they recommend doing in the beginning is go to settings, integrations, and go to uh, OpenAI Chat GPT. And here you see that you have edit, and here you can actually put your business information. So I had that on a presentation and just copy and paste it. One of the other things that you can do in the beginning is actually when you go to settings, you go here. And because in the beginning I named when you register, it asks you for a name. So I named my chatbot Polly. And then I was like, I don't want it to be Polly. I wanted to rename it. So here I actually renamed it Alice. And you can also upload your logo here. So I did that. Then you can actually go to flows. And you can see that I already have some flows going on. And also you can go to templates 
and you can see some of the templates that they have they're pretty nice i tested some of them but i actually wanted to create my own chatbot so um, i'm just gonna go back and i'm just gonna go to flows and now i'm gonna create a new flow so i'm gonna put add um hmm what should i name it joe chatbot joe is just another wonder i know it's weird but yeah and then you can actually you see the the message here and you can um decide whether it's a web chat i i choose a web chat and here you can write your to add your content so i'm gonna add a text and i'm gonna say hello uh welcome to just another wanderer um i'm Polly, and i would love to chat with you Mm, and mm, and then I can actually choose a button to say whether they need to open a website a certain link or they can call a number or they can send me a message somewhere in this case I'm actually gonna choose send message so here when they click on the button I'm gonna choose again chatbot web chat and I'm gonna say it's good to have in mind what you want to do with that chatbot right in my case for example I would love for them to subscribe for my newsletter or for example read our my latest post so I can actually choose the link to my latest post here which is the lake card the post and actually i can go back to ch chatbot here and i'm gonna delete that message thing and i'm gonna change that to open website and i'm gonna put the link here and i'm gonna say um want to read my new blog post oh uh read my new blog post okay for example or another button i'm gonna say also open website i'm gonna say subscribe for newsletter uh, it's gonna be just news because we don't have enough enough uh, characters to use here and i'm just gonna put a link here towards maybe towards my contacts page um contact me and then i'm gonna click save and let's say that this is what we want to do at the moment so we can we can actually say that from here it continues to another step that we create so if we uh, add another step for example and we can contact them like here and we can put other other things uh on the pipeline so that we create a lot of conversations but in our case i'm just i just want to show you how i'm going to put it on my website at the moment here so we click publish and then we go back i prefer to do it that way maybe there's a better way i prefer to do it that way so i'm gonna go to then integrations oh no channels web chatbot manage and here you can actually choose the name in this case i'm just gonna name it Polly. let's see if that's gonna stick the welcome message here you can actually choose before for web dash i was using that welcome message that i created in another flow but here i'm gonna choose the jaw chatbot so I have the brand color in this case is the color of web dash here I'm gonna just choose some other just like pink color no it's not gonna stick because I didn't click OK right okay so you have you can go to generate code copy and it's weird because in the beginning I was like, did I copy something? I don't see any code. I'm used to seeing the code, right? So uh, you can actually paste it and 
see that there is something. So on Joe, I'm just going to go to edit with Elementor on my, I'm actually now on my contacts page. Let's go to the home page. I think it's better to put it on the home page. So I'm just going to go to my home page. It's loading. It loaded. Okay, so I'm just gonna click edit with Elementor on my home page on just another wonder. And I'm just gonna go somewhere just to add one HTML field right here, for example. I'm just gonna paste the code that they gave me. Okay, let's click update. I'm super excited to see it. <laughs> okay, so let's see it. Just gonna move myself here. Look, and it's pink. I love it so much, guys. It says Polly. Okay, that's great. Hello, welcome to Just Another Wonder. I'm Polly and I would love to chat with you. Read my new blog post. It opens the blog post, the link that I left here. But they also can contact me, which is also great. So here it is, guys. It's super short video of how we can actually, you can actually build a chatbot yourself in so little minutes you can use actually there's so many other tools that they have like um e-commerce uh, amazing experiences and things that i haven't tested out so that's why i'm not showing them to you but if you're interested you can go and check that out they actually have other chatbots like i think in messenger and instagram and other socials but just go and check it out because chatgptbuilder.io um, for me personally, I'm definitely using it for the websites for now, at least, but I believe in the future, I'm going to be using it for so much more. So thank you for watching and bye. See you next time.